What's up YouTube? This is Cooking with Doug. I'll be combination cooking today. I got my Smart Oven Air in the house and also my Copper Chef um, induction cooktop as well as my four quart um, Cooks Essentials pressure cooker. And today I'm going to make black bean and chicken Doug style nacho cheese. Who will the Giants play today? The Giants will play later today at 1 p.m. away against the Eagles. My team is 0-2 right now. It's getting serious. Go Giants! Anyway, let's begin. So... I'm going to take about, these are chicken breasts, I'm going to take about three of them out. These are thinly sliced chicken breasts, so they're not big, so if you have a thick one, you could do two, it's fine, but these are thin sliced. So let me wash these off and um, get the seasoning. Shout out to my Kitchen Gadgets group on Facebook one time. Also shout out to my Air Fryer group on Facebook. It's 10 o'clock in the morning. Y'all already frying. It's crazy. All right. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and see. These are three chicken breasts in here. Like I said, thinly sliced. And we're just going to season them up very easily. Um, we're not going to put too much stuff in there. I'm just going to throw um, some of this on there. I've had it in my pantry for a while. I don't even know how it tastes. But I like hot stuff. And I don't think this is going to be that hot anyway. So I'm going to season it with this. So let me add some a little bit of uh, olive oil to this. Now remember, this is Doug style. So I'm going to go over the top a little bit because that's just what I do. Let me smell this. Okay. It don't smell like it's going to kill me. Let's spread, sprinkle a little bit on there. And we're just going to mix that up. All right, that looks good enough to me. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to add a cup of water to my inner basket of my um, pressure cooker. And just for fun, I'm going to sprinkle some more of this mix in there just, just to infuse it a little more. Then I'm also just going to put this rack in there like that. And... Then I'm going to place my chicken breast. Hopefully all three will fit. And of course, if I was doing it in my six quart, it would be much bigger, but I have a feeling this should be fine. Yep, this is good enough. Yeah. So we just do it like that. And that's just part one of the chicken. So we're gonna put this in the um, pressure cooker for 20 minutes. And that should be much, uh, you know, tender enough for me to go ahead and use these claws I got on Amazon. And if these don't work, I'll just use a traditional, you know, traditional, traditional way, which is a fork. But we're gonna see what these claws do. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this in the pressure cooker for 20 minutes. Hold on. All right, I got my pressure cooker on, and I closed the lid to the lock position. And so now I'm just gonna set my timer. 20 minutes and that's it so I'll be back all right what we're going to need to do now is drain these beans and you can use whatever black beans you want or whatever beans you want it's almost coming to pressure mmm it smells good already y'all All right, we hit that pressure, so the countdown starts at 20 minutes now. Onion chopping time. Now, y'all know good and hell well I can't chop no onions. But I do have a pulling chop, and I am going to whip that out. By the way, I'm using almost a full small onion. This is all I have left of a small onion. And this is all I'm going to be using um, of a red onion. Not much. Let me 
chop that up. Yep. Pulling chop time, guys. That's good enough. Let's see how it looks. Yeah, that's good enough. One o'clock is approaching, y'all. All right, guys, pop the top, and this is what we're looking like. Now, what I usually do, and I forgot to do it, I usually add some. Um, Paprika for uh, coloring and I forgot to do that, but that's no problem because it doesn't matter what color it is um, Because we're putting in nachos, but If you do if I were to do this again, I still would add some pap paprika to it just to give it that color All right, so let's take it out All right, so that's what we're looking like guys. I got my claws out. I don't know how I'm supposed to do this, but as you can see, it's pretty much fall off the bone. I mean, not fall off the bone, but it's ready to be ripped apart by doing the 20 minutes. I'm probably not doing this right, and that's fine. I'll figure it out. <laughs> Just having fun. But like I said, you could do this with a fork. No big deal. It'll do the same thing. I just wanted to try it out, it looked cool. I saw some other YouTubers use it and I wanted to try it out myself. This was only like five bucks on Amazon, so no big deal. Cool. I'm gonna go ahead and just taste one just to see. Okay. Well, this still needs a little help, but that's fine. I'm going to sprinkle some cumin on here. I should give it some nice flavoring inside the meat. I'm going to add some dash and finally some onion powder. That's what I'm talking about. All right, induction time. All right.
This is a pizza pan my oven came with, so I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna align it with some parchment paper just for easy cleanup. You know what I mean? I'll line these up pretty good. Alright, we're going to add some uh, sharp cheddar. I want to make sure we get everything. Alright, so I got this much left, but pretty much it's all there. I'm gonna sprinkle some garlic powder just on the top. And then finally, we're gonna add some Kobe Jack. to do is put this in the oven. Alright, we about finished now. And this is what we're looking like. So let me take it out. There we have it. Just let it cool off just for a little bit. And I'll sprinkle some uh, parsley on the top. I don't have any green onions. I thought I did. I was gonna you know garnish it with that but don't have any so that's gonna have to do alright guys let's go ahead and see what we're working with hmm I'm trying to get a good piece here no hmm. guess more in the middle would be where it's, where it's good. Um, trying to get a good piece for you guys. But it's not letting me. I'll take this one if it will stay. There we go. This looks like a good piece. Yeah, I'll take a bite out of that one. Look at that. Mmm. This is good. Mmm, mmm, mmm. I recommend you try it. Do it your style. Mmm. You will love it. I did pick up some um, avocado, um, but I'm gonna have this with it when I um, watch the game in about an hour or so. So, anyway, I hope you like it. Hit like if you like it. Remember to subscribe. If anything, thanks for even just looking at my video. Go Giants!